and to help them, guide them mm -hmm. uh, into a deeper kind of Advent. Mm -hmm. Maybe explain a little bit about how you've used um, these, the you know, the, the relationships in the Holy Family. We've mm -hmm. talked about the Blessed Mother. Maybe mm -hmm. we can talk about Saint Joseph mm -hmm. and Father Wounds and how how in behold that you lead us to explore uh, a, a new vision and, and uh, new relationship with God in that yeah. context. Yeah, well, the book is really set up to be just a gentle invitation. And I really, all I am just just gently taking you by the hand and just leading you on a, on a very simple and a very quiet journey of healing. And it's looking at the different aspects of the feminine love of Mary and the masculine love of Joseph, and then the aspects of childhood as we all, you know, I love that Jesus comes to earth he, as through the womb of a woman and he grew up and he had his diapers changed and he learned how to talk and he maybe he played soccer and he went, you know, he grew up, he was 12 years old, he was 14, he was 15, he was 20, you know, just it's just so human, like, and Jesus is bringing us to be fully human. And so it's allowing those characteristics. So say, for example, like St. Joseph of his, just his, his tender strength of his, the way he uses his protection of how he he's honored, how he's honest. And those characteristics of strong masculine love that um, sometimes we have those in our fathers and sometimes we don't, but they're characteristic of a, a love that protects and a love that guards life and a, lo a love that defends life. And so really it's just spending time with it, just a meditation, a short meditation every day to just kind of open your heart a bit to what was your experience with your dad, you know, and what was experience with, and then what does St. Joseph, you know, as, as an image of God, the father want to say to you. And that is, and how is he working to, to bring your heart into community and relationship? And it's the same with our own childhood, like the wonder of our childhood and being taken care of and joy. And just, you know, how did we come back when we were upset? How did we, how were we regulated again? And, you know, all of us in our life, we, we learn ways to survive and, Ideally, those survival mechanisms break down at some point, hopefully, because what the Lord does in that is he invites us to a, a deeper way of living. And so just maybe aspects you've never thought about or maybe haven't thought about in a long time. But but all these things have a profound effect on how we live our day to day life. You know, and and Jesus says, you know, from from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks and wherever your treasure is there, your heart is. And what happens in our heart, like the catechism says, the heart is our hidden center. And what happens in our hearts matters. And we can't pretend like the things that happened to us or that we got like got over or that we don't want to talk about anymore don't affect us. They do. They affect how we pray. They affect how we see ourselves, how we see God, how we see others. And so the Lord loves us so much. He wants to bring everything into to love and truth because both are healing. Truth heals the lies and love heals the wounds. And they, they both heal together.